I'm Danny Lacer, pastor, pilot, Church of God. I'd like to talk to you a few minutes about the victory message of the resurrection. I want to read from Luke 24, chapter 24, verse 1. Now, upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came into the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass that they were much perplexed thereabout. Behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid, they bowed their faces to the earth they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee. Isn't that good news? He's not here, but he is risen. We get so many benefits from that. And I want to name a few number one we know that jesus is alive even today in fact he's our intercessor he intercesses on our behalf and it's great news to know today you know no matter where we're at or who we are Jesus Christ is on our side and he loves us. And then it's good news to know that we're forgiven. Every one of us was born in sin. But when we receive Jesus as our personal savior, he forgave us of us. So much love there, so much love for mankind that god would give his only begotten son to die for a sinful world and then we know we'll have a resurrection body someday this body that we have now we do the best we can one of these days we're going to have a glorified body a body not filled with cancer or diabetes and other problems but we're going to have a glorified body and then the good news to know that heaven is our home we have so many loved ones and friends that's there already and uh, heaven belongs to us because of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ there's so many benefits we you know we so I, I tell you it's a it's a very very deep sub what Jesus did upon the cross for you. The blood covenant. We have not only salvation, we have sanctification. We have the baptism of the Holy Ghost. We have healing. We have joy unspeakable. We have peace. All because of what Jesus did for us on the cross. I like to read from Ephesians, the second chapter. Verse 12. That at that time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now, oh, if you're saved today, you can say, but now, Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off or made nigh by the blood of Christ. We have hope today. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, what a day to receive him today. Every day is precious to receive Jesus Christ. If you like to receive Jesus, would you pray this prayer with me? Dear Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. 
Forgive me of my sins. Lord Jesus, I believe that you are alive, sitting at the right hand of the Father. And Lord Jesus, I thank you right now for forgiving me. Amen. If you pray that prayer, then you're a believer. You're a Christian. You've been born again. Just remain it in your heart. Sister Barbara and I love you very much. We love our church. We miss our congregation. We love everyone. Peace.